Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. You're watching I Allegedly. And uh, I've got a good one for you today because it is a bad economy. And uh, I've got a lot to cover on this. Please like, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, today we have a sponsor, Patriot Gold. But let's get right into it. Money manager Ed Dowd steps forward and said, listen, this is a bad economy. We have been been fed sham numbers for the last few years and realization is about to step in. That's one thing I just said too. So realization is about to step in. And the last time we had a sham economy, now think about this, was Ronald Reagan. Now, you know, I remember working for my father's company during that time and being in high school and just living through, wow, we're in a, this is a recession. This is what it's like. This is bad. And interest rates went through the roof during that time. Remember the 18% prime rate? I do. So what Mr. Dowd said is that you're going to see at least a two-point variant from what we've been told things are, from unemployment to GDP to everything, is that we're going to see things come to light that are going to make it real. I see, I, I love this because, you know, once again, Everything gets revised lower. Every job number gets revised lower. GDP gets revised lower. You have to look at these numbers right now and understand that manufacturing is off here in the United States. We need nothing more than to make things here again in this country. Is that a bad thing to ask for? I don't think so. You know, we need jobs. The middle class has been destroyed. The middle class is basically non-existent. People cannot afford a vacation. People cannot afford to go out. And you're going to see things, once again, like travel, you know, drop to the floor. You're going to see apartment buildings go back to the bank. And you're going to see hotels be turned back to the bank, too, in addition to office buildings. Now, one thing that's wild is progressive insurance. You know, you see Flo on TV and see her covering everything. What they just got rid of was dwelling insurance. We're going to cancel fire for dwelling insurance. And you're like, okay, what's that, a house? No, that's landlord insurance, guys. And we're going to focus on conventional uh, domiciles. Houses is what Progressive said. Now, what Progressive is saying is, listen, it's only 3.6% of our total uh, insurance coverage. Think about this, guys. Your landlord, if you're paying rent, may not get a, may not get renewed for their their fire insurance as of the 18th of this month. So how does that affect us? Yeah, well, guys, I'm telling you, if there's a fire and it's somebody else's fault, you want them to have fire insurance. This is an absolute disaster. So the thing that I've learned, less and less insurance companies are writing policies right now, more than ever, and you're going to see this as a huge, huge problem going forward. So let me know what you think about this. But progressive is just the latest to not uh, write policies. One thing that came across uh, my desk that's completely wild is you can basically find out who owns any house. Very simple. There's a newspaper up north, San Francisco, that posted this link to where you can click on any house. It'll tell you who owns a house for free. I was sitting there for an hour today just click. Oh, my God, who owns this? Who owns that? Did that guy still own that house? Click, click. Yeah, he still does. Crazy, okay? The link will be below. But what it does, guys, I mean, it's absolutely free. Now, a few variables, if you go to an apartment complex or a condo project, it's like this is a multiple dwelling. You need to search down here. But it is wild, guys. And the thing about this is that if your landlord, you think he owns multiple properties, you can find out real easy because the thing that blew me away as I'm clicking on it, Certain things wouldn't move, and I'm like, what's that? Well, what it is is this guy owns 40 houses that are in his name. Wow. Okay? So very cool stuff, guys. So, you know, everybody, everything's bad news, Dan. Everything's bad news. It is bad news, guys. But if you work through this, you'll earn a living, and you'll make money during this time. Now, a follow-up from the last video I did was the FAA just banned spirit airlines from flying into haiti well there goes their economy worse than ever 
you know, one warlord ruins it for everybody. So, you know, shoot her to plane, you get no more visitors to your uh, um, lovely island. See, I didn't say anything bad. But point is, is that guys just going to destroy things like this. So, again, Charlotte to, <laughs> Charlotte to L.A., no way, man. Got to get rid of that. But the FAA stepped in and all flights to Haiti are done right now for at least 30 days until they know it's safer. So let me know what you think about that because I think that it is wild to think that this had happened in the first place. But uh, the world is full of crazies right now. I can tell you that firsthand, okay? Let's talk about our sponsor, Patriot Gold Group. You know, think about this. We generate as a country $100,000 a second in debt. Isn't that crazy to think about? Our national debt is out of control. There's strategic reserves when it comes to gold. When you hear the number, it's only in the billions. We don't have enough gold right now, guys. There's not enough gold, and you need to get your hands on some right now. The best place to do that is Patriot Gold Group. Call them today, 888-330-1431. They are number one rated for eight years in a row with Consumer Affairs. IRAs, 401ks, they have it all, backed by precious metals. Do yourself a favor and protect yourself and your family moving forward. Contact number one rated Patriot Gold Group today. If you don't want to call, use the link below, fill it out. They will send you information. The best thing to do is contact them before it's too late. Once again, 888-330-1431, number one rated Patriot Gold Group. Contact them today. Now again, there's a ton to cover, and Southwest Airlines is going to offer 18 different hubs buyout offers, and they're going to give it to thousands of employees. Here's the one thing. Read the story below, but here's the one thing I want to tell you. If you're ever offered a buyout, I have a friend of mine who worked for a telecommunications company in Texas, and they offered the buyout, and he got almost 25% more. I say, no, no, I want this, this, and this, and then retired with that money. So just because they're offering you the buyout, you can get in line and be sheep and just say, oh, I guess this is the best they're going to do. Or you can sit there and ask for 50% more. We could never do that. You, could, they, you can't go up, guys. Remember that. Always ask for more money, and they will say yay or nay. But with, you know, Southwest Airlines and them doing this and you knowing that this is going to come and you're one of these people, uh, agents at the gate, people loading luggage. I mean, there's so many different people, people taking reservations. They're doing all these different uh, positions that they're going to offer this money to. Just ask for more. I would. So kind of crazy. Uh, NatWest Bank, Stephen from the UK sent me this, and that is going to ban all communication devices. You can't have any social media at work from now on, which, you know, I have to tell this to a lot of young people that reach out, my, my kid, my kid's friends, and people that write me, you know, hey, my boss was so upset that I was on my phone. Yeah, they're there to work, guys. Think about this. You know, we talked about Ronald Reagan earlier. We didn't have cell phones back then. We just seemed to show up at work and do our job, and, oh, our shift is done. Okay, let me call my mom, and nobody lives that way anymore. Everybody's on their device 24-7. And you wonder why these companies get upset over this. So think about this. Now that the strike has ended, we're getting the real numbers with Boeing. Boeing's upside down, guys. Boeing's got a real problem, and they're going to let go 10% of their staff right now. 10%. So planes overhead, guys. Isn't that crazy to think about? So you haven't seen anything yet when it comes to Boeing. Here's something that absolutely blew me away, and I was going to title the video this, and that is that your RV is illegal. Here in California, come 2025, they have all these new emission laws that are going to affect the RV industry. So RV sales, basically it's banned selling RVs right now. So talking about an industry that you're going to see get destroyed, if you're trying to sell your RV right now, get dump it. If, hey, honey, should we keep it? You know, the kids like it. They're getting too old. 
I don't know, get rid of it right now. I'm not talking about the trailers, I'm talking about the RVs themselves because they're having all these new laws as far as emissions for new ones, not your existing one. New ones that are sold. I didn't say your old one's going to get banned, it's the new ones. And ERVs, electric RVs, are going to be the future. I am telling you this right now. You get stuck in the middle of nowhere without any electricity, what are you going to do? Who are you going to call? I had nine people send me a story yesterday about a Tesla fire where everybody was stuck in the car because they couldn't get out of the car because the electric locks wouldn't work. One girl was saved uh, because they broke the window out. Okay? Now, how horrific is that? But EV is the way to go all the way around. Okay? You see what I'm saying? It gets kind of ridiculous right now when you talk about this stuff. But they're going to ban uh, ERVs. So let me know what you think about that, guys, because it's nuts right now. It's funny. Trump gets elected, and in different countries, Bitcoin is shooting through the roof. In Korea, it's over $90 for each Bitcoin right now. And they blame it on extreme greed for people wanting to make money. So, extreme greed. There is a store in Texas that does the TSA surplus. Think about this. When you walk through an airport and things get seized, whether it's a knife or something that shouldn't be taken or you don't have identification for it, and there's a store that sells this stuff. So the link is below for that. But I'm thinking that's pretty cool. I mean, you get yourself a lot of cool stuff at a place like that. And uh, just a matter of time. Uh, Stephen from the UK sent me another great story about an appeals court there that just ruled that people were not notified about their auto finance. And for example, Marcus Johnson bought a, in uh, 2017, bought a Suzuki Swift and didn't realize that the bank was making a 25% commission on his car. The bank was, not in addition to the car dealership. The bank was making money on the financing and this people were left in the dark about this. So they determined that, that was illegal and that the prices were basically inflated so Mr. Johnson's going to get himself a $3,600 refund. And so many other people are going to get these refunds because the Court of Appeals real, ruled that this was all illegal. There are certain things that they used to do here in the States. I mean, you could have a finance company and you would get paid basically a kickback for doing this. And they got rid of it. They made it so that you cannot do this. And these banks are not supposed to do this. Do people still pay kickbacks? Yes. Do people uh, still pay illegal commissions and fees and things like that all the time. But once they get caught, they get amnesia and say they didn't know it was illegal. And Mr. Johnson's going to be 3,600 pounds heavier. So kind of cool. I love hearing that the good guy wins. Plus, it also brought up a great thing. Back in the day, I used to look for crazy websites. There is a great website called Ling's Cars, L-I-N-G-S, lingscars.com. I went on this site for several years before I realized Ling was a woman, first of all, and Ling sell cars, but it was voted the world's worst website, which got her a tremendous amount of attention. There are games that you can play on it. There's videos. She used to have cameras inside the office to where you could watch her staff. One of her employees had a girlfriend break up with them. They had a live cam that you could say a five second thing to send to this guy just to insult the guy that Deborah left you, you know, it was, it was awesome. So now when you go to the site, she's basically just selling cars right now. But what's behind this is that there's a fun stuff page that you can take a look at. Go to lingscars.com because it's still funny. But, uh, you know, uh, there was, she had things like, there was employees that hated certain songs. If you pressed a button, it would play that song at this person's desk. And it was a live cam, so you just would hear them suffering through this over and over again very cool stuff though uh let me know if you have any crazy websites that you'd like me to take a look at because i love stuff like this okay let me know i'm gonna finish this video with these last few stories and this is this is wild stuff first things first you've got a inspector in florida 
Dr. Marvin sent me this. Dr. Marvin's on fire lately, sending me such great stuff. But Dr. Marvin sends me this story about an engineer who basically was dead. I died in 2018, but he's still signing off on buildings. And they think his son is doing it, Enrique Fernandez. So there was a nine-story building that this guy signed off on, in addition to so many other jobs, that this guy signed off on saying it was okay. Now, again, the dead guy from 2018 can't sign anything. So they're saying his son, Enrique Fernandez, walked in and signed things and even renewed his license. So he's in a heap of trouble right now. But when they start talking to him, he's like, wait a second. I didn't do this. That's not my signature. So did he do it? Did he sign off on these buildings? How would you like to be in one of the buildings in that area? And you found out that the engineer was a fake engineer who wasn't real in the first place. Wouldn't that concern you? How about you're on the second, third, fourth, ninth floor of that building? And uh, I'm going to talk to the engineer about this. So he's been dead for six years. So concerning to say the least. So you haven't seen anything yet, man. You're going to see more and more and more stuff like this as we move forward. After the election, it was announced that a lot of solar companies were in deep trouble. m Energy, their CEO, Badri Hafadamarian, said that they're laying off another 500 jobs across the country. Basically, 17% of the workforce. Earlier this year, they laid off 10%. So needless to say, the solar industry is not thriving right now. But again, you know, you're going to see less rebates. You're going to see all these different problems with that. And just wild to think about. It's really, it's really sad. You know, I, I hate to hear about anybody losing their job. I, I really, really do. That just drives me crazy when I hear this stuff. Now, final, final story. Brittany Patterson is a mother of four and she went to take one of her kids a couple weeks ago to the doctor and when she got home her 10 year old son Soren wasn't around so she just assumed he was at grandma's or out playing in the woods playing outside no nope. Soren went for a walk to the local town which is one mile away and a woman saw a 10 year old boy walking down the street and called the cops and said it's completely unsafe for this kid to be walking on a road that is 25 miles an hour. Basically a school zone, guys. So when they got a hold of Brittany, they cuffed her, they arrested her, put her in an orange jumpsuit, and had a court date for child neglect for having this kid let this kid go outside and play. Now, my parents should have been given the death penalty because my brothers and I had to walk to and from school when we were children. It was basically two miles. And I used to complain about it all the time. Give me a ride, give me a ride. And my wicked stepmother would not do that. Okay. So again, I can give you her address so you can have her arrested right now. She's still around someplace. And uh, <laughs> you can do that. You see how ridiculous this is? The kid, it's not like they found the kid, you know, tucked away playing Minecraft on his iPad. He was out walking to the, to the local town. Okay. Not doing anything wrong, nothing bad, but they made it bad. So again, I'm telling you, the world is filled with kids that need experiences. And one of them walking to and from someplace to get there, that's a good thing. Okay, let me know what you think about that. Now, would you advise it? No. You know, again, we could all talk about the dangers of society. I see it all the time. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, write me at hello at iallegedly.com, and I'll see you very soon.